Hello, everybody. Welcome. Portland presents you the Extreme Fools Pre Show. Hello, everybody. I'm Corey Gray, along with Jamie Noble and Jerry Morkley. Today, today we have a packed show. It'll come to our champion Austin Aries. Defense is tied in an extreme wars match against Daniel Bryan. Ambulance. Enzo and Cass versus Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Gallows and Anderson versus the Usos in a tornado tag team match for the War Tag Titles. <laughs> Women's Champion for SmackDown Oscar faces Emma, but both have a problem with lumberjells all over the place. With a tables match, we have The Miz versus Rey Mysterio for the wall for the title. Don't forget the I Quit match for between Baron Corbin and Tyson Kidd for the SmackDown WWE Championship. Alexa Bliss is defending the whole Raw Women title against Sasha Banks and Bayley in a triple threat match. Hardy, Awoken Matt Hardy will face John Cena in a false count anywhere match. The feud between Nakamura and Styles goes on to last man standing. A steel case is coming for, for Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins for the SmackDown NXT Championship. And our main event, ladder match, Jeff Hardy, CM Punk for the Raw NXT Championship. Yeah, this is a full pack show, and we want to thank Highway Saints for our theme song tonight, Something For You. But let's show everyone how each of these matches came to be possible. Because we have a lot of behind the scenes stuff to show everyone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is actually interesting to see how these matches came to be. We had a battle royale on wall a few weeks back to see who would face Austin Aries. At Extreme Wars. And oh boy, was it on fire throughout the match. Never hitting moves left and right. Everyone, Umar got eliminated Tensai and Kane at one point. And I'm meeting an uppercut by Cesaro. Kevin Owens was a monster in this match, too. Don't forget that. Oh! Ah! Just to see who would face the Intercontinental Champion. Drew McIntyre was about to get back in when that wheel blew his chances. Then he gets down to the final sex. And oh boy, was it a doozy of a final sex. But it looked like Yoshi Tatsu had Daniel Bryan out. Kevin Owens from behind. And then Neville was soon sent flying by KO. 
But Kevin Owens is not on the card tonight after last week's European Classic. All the men in that match have been given this weekend off. Oh, with that, we were left down to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Daniel Bryan. With a pop up powerbomb, Sami Zayn just took down Owens. Not giving up at all. Until. Oh, that low blow, and Kevin Owens is. Zayn's holding on. And Bryan, with that winning knee, gets Kevin Owens out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Aries then told, I was able to have, Michael Cole had an interview with Austin Aries, who said he wants to face Brian in Extreme Wars. And Brian accepted it. We're going to see these two men, they, they respect each other as performers, but tonight is about them showing they can go hardcore against each other. No easy way out for the champion or the challenger. Well, on SmackDown, the tag team division has been pretty big recently. That is correct. The tag team team has actually been big over on the blue brand. Where we actually were having a fatal four way number one contenders match between Rusev and Xavier, the Revival, the National Air Strikers, who won Money in the Bank and Enzo and Cass. It was getting pretty big. Enzo looked like he was going for the finish. Boom! Right. There, the blind tag from Cass. No one saw it coming. Boom! Cass! Oh! Oh! The shadow machine of JBL hitting that clothesline. Boom! Oh, that big boot. Boom. One, two, three. Enzo and Cass will go to Extreme Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, during that moment, Enzo, Cass, baby, it's your old pal, it's, well, we wouldn't say pals, but it's your opponents for the July pay-per-view. <laughs> we actually went to Paul Heyman, and we discussed what match we want. We could have had any match. TLC, a last man standing tag team match. Ladder match. Inferno match. But we decided on an ambulance match. Tag team style. The only way to win is to get your opponents inside the ambulance. And if one opponent got in, then you could get back out. Once both members of the team is in, you lose. The seal threw out the challenge, and then Enzo and Cass are bad mouthing the seal when an ambulance came all the way down to ringside. Dean Ambrose. Ugh. And Roman Wangs. Oh. oh man, and the shield. Oh. 
took Enzo and Cass over. Oh! 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 A Superman's punch from Roman. And Dean Ambrose. Oh! So we will be seeing this match later tonight. Well, I would say the Shield might have an upper hand against them. Meanwhile, the Usos have had enough of the club showing about how they defeated them and every other team on the roster. The Usos challenged them, the club, to a match, saying, If you think you're so tough, fight us at Extreme Wars. The club said, on one condition, they got to fight both men in the ring at once. Gallows and Anderson are a dangerous team together at once. And the team might have the victory set in stone already. Don't talk to Usos that yet. They're also dangerous together. But at WrestleMania, we had Oscar defeat Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Sasha Banks to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. And then at Backlash, she defeated Lita and putting Lita out of action for the foreseeable future. And with Becky Lynch winning the women's Money in the Bank match for SmackDown, she sat out the SmackDown after. And during that, we had a six pack challenge to decide who would face Asuka tonight. And let me just say this Nia Jax was vicious. Paige, Naomi tried to work together. Kelly Kelly had got Nia off her feet. And as she went for the pin, the Stratus faxing, but then Emma, right then and there, one, two, three. And Emma challenged Oscar to a match on SmackDown. But as the Emperor, Empress was getting, making her entrance. Emma attacked. When it seemed like Asuka was going to get the advantage. Oof. Emma slipped away. And the match never started. And then Paul Heyman said later on, that at Extreme Wars, every side of the ring is going to be crowded. Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, Nia Jax, Naomi, Paige, Kelly, Kelly, and Charlotte are all going to be around the ring to make sure there's a conclusion between Emma and Oscar. Well, Emma fought Oscar back in February, and Emma said she wasn't ready. Now she is ready for Oscar. Well, we Emma better hope she is because there's no escape for her later tonight once she steps into the ring to wrestle. Well, a few months back, about after Money in the Bank, two former contestants in Women's Series and RVD had an amazing matchup on Watts and someone who will face The Miz at Extreme Wars. Oh, but it looked like RVD had the victory won. Wow. RVD got trapped, and by the time he came to his senses, Rey Mysterio already had him. He dropped the dime on RVD. 
One, two, three. And then, There was a tag team match up between challengers and champions on Raw three weeks ago between The Miz and Jeff Hardy and Sam Punk and Rey Mysterio. When Jeff Hardy brought in a table for some reason. And when our chaos broke loose, boom, we had CM Punk, DTS Seth Hardy onto that ladder table, and with Miz knocked out, Rey Mysterio was going to go to put Seth through the table, but as he jumped, Miz pulled his partner of the night out of the way. And then later on, when asked about what the Miz chose for a stipulation, this is what he had to say. Well, we had, well actually, we got later on in the night when the, we still got Miz and Hardy talking. We got some info. Miz, after what transpired tonight, do you know what your match at Extreme Wars is going to be? I talked with Vicky. And at Extreme Wars, me and Wei are going to be fighting in a tables match. So that's actually going to be really exciting to see what, some, somewhat rivals and the Miz and Wei Mysterio are actually fighting tonight. The, the Miz's strength and Mysterio's speed and high flying powers. We might, we don't know who's going to win. Meanwhile, back over on SmackDown. We've had the few that's been lasting since WrestleMania when Tyson Kidd cast in his Money in the Bank briefcase. He went one last year. He picked the time and place and used it to win against Baron Corbin and Randy Orton. At Backlash, he defended his title again and went one. Slipping away with the WWE title. At Money in the Bank, we had a ladder match between the man which Woken Matt Hardy won. And then on SmackDown to decide who would face Tyson Kidd, we had a tournament. The finals being Randy Orton versus Baron Corbin, but after Orton defeated John Cena in the semifinals. Oh, Baron Corbin wasted no time. The finals were going to start now. And, I, and even though Orton put up a fight. Baron Corbin got the victory. One, two, three. Later on, when Tyson Kidd was actually coming out here. On commentary. Baron Corbin attacked Kid. Oh! Oh! And then Baron said he was gonna get back what was rightfully his in an I quit match. That the viciousness of Baron Corbin has been getting worse over the last few weeks, and that's not really good. But back on Raw, at WrestleMania, the Royal Rumble winner, Alexa Bliss, had to face every single woman on Raw for that women's championship. And she was not happy when she found out she was going to have to defend it again after she was the only woman to defend her title at Money in the Bank. She had to face Nia Jax 
and Caitlyn in singles matches and competing in a Women of the Mountain match. When she was yet to defend again at Extreme Wars, she was less than happy. Well, a gauntlet took place with the final two being Bailey and Sasha Banks, best friends. With them actually fighting the best. It looked like Sasha had Bailey right where she wanted her. When Alexa Bliss. Oh! Ding, 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 ding. Oh! Alexa thought she got away with it. But then Vicky Guerrero announced later, to, later on that Extreme Wars. She would face both Sasa and Bailey. And Sasa was more than happy about it. Was he <laughs> posted a tweet that read Extreme Wars the goddess is gonna fall because she dug her own grave. Well, Alexa didn't take too kindly to that insult because she then took it out on Sasa the following week on Raw with a DDT onto that the that arena floor, and then when Bailey came out, she went for a clothesline and hit Sasa with tension brewing between Sasa and Bailey a little. Can the, these two friends? Somewhat come to an agreement on who should win tonight. As you can see, Sasha and Bailey are discussing it right now in the back. After Matt Hardy won the briefcase, he's uh, having strange visions, as he calls it, of him facing the one man and Camo at Extreme Wars. John Cena accepted, but then Matt said, But it would not be just a singles match. It will be the fours of any layer match. Oh, uh, Matt Hardy has been really weird since coming back. I don't know what snapped in him, but whatever he's doing, it's amazing. But on War, the feud between Nakamura and AJ Styles has reached an all-time high. Well, at WrestleMania, AJ Styles defeated Nakamura, and the two shook hands. Nakamura wanted a rematch, but AJ Styles had to choose a new challenger, but Nakamura did not take 22. When both RVD and Jeff Hardy got a match, he struck. Then, at Money in the Bank, after what Nakamura cost it, Styles' championship. Jeff Hardy won it. AJ Styles lost because Nakamura came back out. And now allowed Jeff Hardy to recover more. And then, to decide who chose the stipulation. AJ Styles and Nakamura had a match. Ugh. And AJ was more vicious than we've seen him in months. But then... Oh! The King's King Sasa. One, two, three. And AJ then said later that whatever match Nakamura picked, he would still win. And Nakamura picked last man standing. Last man standing is dangerous. So both these men are gonna be fighting hard, but don't forget.
that the match between Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins tonight inside the Steel Chamber. Seth Rollins has had an amazing year since November when he won the NXT title. The new, the first, the uh, inaugural NXT champion defending against Roman Reigns. Samoa Joe. Bad News Bear, Randy Orton. Uh, every opponent he can. And he's been burning it down. And with Seth Rollins, Rollins saying he would fight anyone. Oh, Bray Wyatt took advantage after Seth Rollins open challenge against Chris Masters and it successfully. I think the sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt sent a sign to Seth Rollins. He was coming for his title. And anytime Seth Rollins tried to get his hands on Wyatt, Wyatt would slip away. And so Seth came up with an idea. Listen closely, man. At Extreme Wars when we fight... You're not going to run away from me. We're going to fight inside of a steel cage. Let's see you run from me after that. Oh, and Seth Rollins getting the boot, the, the, the two kicks, and then the stomp as he calls it to send a message to Wyatt. Not to mess with him. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, our main events. We're going to show you guys that how that came to be. A lot of maps between the Charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy, and CM Punk. We thank you guys for watching the pre show. And we'll come back momentarily with Extreme Wars. The Fog is a triple threat match for the NXT Championship. Javari, he's up at the top rope. One, two, three. Javari, successful cast in. Javari has been on fire. Yeah, history. 
Max Dream Girls, me, and you, above that wing, that hangs that title, and we use that cold steel you like to jump off of, you got it. At Extreme Wars, I will beat you, Park. 